You're watching WMAR 2 News. Baltimore City Police are investigating the city's 36th murder of 2022. I'm Christian Schaefer. This is your WMAR 2 News update. Just before 2 o'clock this morning, officers found a man who'd been shot on Morris Road in southwest Baltimore. That's right near the eastern edge of Gwynn's Falls Park, right parallel to Hilton Parkway. The victim died at the scene. Police have not released any information about suspects in this case. Police have put out some statistics on crime from the weekend. Friday through Sunday, city police say one person was murdered, four more were shot, and 20 robberies were committed. Police also say they made 58 arrests over the weekend, including two for murder. Police did not say which murders those arrests are connected with. And a man is in shock trauma after state police found him with gunshot wounds along I-95. Troopers say around 3.30 yesterday afternoon, they responded to a crash in the northbound lanes of 95 near Route 100 in Howard County. When they arrived, they found a white cargo van stopped in the median. The driver had a gunshot wound. Rescue crews took him to shock trauma, but the state police homicide unit is investigating that shooting. State police have not released the man's name or any details about what led up to that incident. And four people have been injured after a fire in Northeast Baltimore, including one with a serious injury. This fire happened around 9 o'clock this morning on Harcourt Road, just north of Moravia Road. Smoke was showing from the second floor of that unit when fire crews got to the scene. Crews rescued one of the victims from that second floor and another from the first floor. Cause of that fire under investigation. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday everyone on this Monday we are tracking below average temperatures and we're also tracking temperatures that will be in the 50s as we head towards uh, your Thursday and then the next chance for for some rain and some snow will roll in here as we head towards your Friday. Now this is what we're going to work with as we continue through the afternoon. So highs today will be in the low to mid 30s before it's all said and done and we're also going to be dealing with these temperatures that continue to bump upwards. So by the time we hit your tomorrow numbers will be in the 40s today we're going to be dealing with uh, more clouds than sunshine and that's going to be the scenario as we head towards your Tuesday and also your Wednesday. So the seven day forecast does have some changes in it. So we look at your Tuesday. We'll start you off with some patchy fog in the morning and then by the afternoon we're warmer than what we are today and then we're even warmer as we head towards Wednesday on Groundhog Day and then by Thursday a new system rolls in temperatures in the 50s and then there's the rain and snow on Friday. Christian Chief Meteorologist Lynette Charles. Thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMART News come all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news for news weather on the go. You can always download the WMAR 2 news app from the app store or just follow us on social media at WMAR 2 news. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer.